Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a holiday favorite, which is the coquito. And how I do it may be a little different, I'm not sure. But this is how I've been doing it for a couple years since we had the nutrition club. And what I do is whatever cup I'm going to use, I fill it completely with ice. And then I fill it a little over halfway with water. That's how I do my measurement. And once I have my cup of ice and halfway filled with water, I dump it in the blender and I actually crush up the ice. I've had a lot of people ask me why I do this. And I honestly, I think it makes a difference in the texture of the shake. I don't know if it really does make a difference or not, but this is just how I make all my blended shakes. I always blend the ice and water first and then I start adding in the product. So with this holiday favorite, which is again the Coquito, what you're going to do is grab your Herbalife measuring spoon. Um, if you don't have one of these, go ahead and ask your coach. They can get you one of the white ones. These colored ones, I know I'm getting a lot of questions on them. It was actually a promotion within our organization and I was selling them, but we are completely out. So I am so sorry, but if anything ever changes, I will let you guys know. So now I'm going to grab my eggnog. Um, this is the one that I like to use. It has almond milk in it, if you see it right here. Um, but don't freak out about calories and stuff when you see this eggnog because you're only going to use a tablespoon. So that's the big side of your Herbalife measuring spoon. And you're just going to pour that right into the blender. If you do not want to use the eggnog, you do not have to. It makes a slight difference, but not a huge difference. I have made it without eggnog before and it was perfectly fine. So if you don't want eggnog, don't put the eggnog. Now with the protein, this is vanilla PDM. I'm putting two scoops in here. Um, if you are on a meal plan where you only need one scoop of protein, then please only add one scoop of protein. But I'm just showing because you know I'm making the shake for myself and I put two scoops of protein. And now I am going to grab cookies and cream. This is going to be one of the Formula One flavors. You do use two different flavors for the coquito. So I have one scoop of cookies and cream and then one scoop of dulce de leche. I know it sounds kind of weird, um, cookies and cream and dulce de leche as coquito. But I promise you in the end it's going to be great. So now I'm going to grab my Herbalife measuring spoon again. And I have some pure almond extract here. And the same side you use to make your tea, you're going to use for the almond extract. So you do not need a lot. You're just going to fill the small side of your Herbalife spoon and pour that right into the blender with the other ingredients. And then we are going to reach over and grab our nutmeg. A lot of people like to sprinkle this, you know, like on the top or whatever but i just sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg into the blender with all the other ingredients and i'm also going to grab my ground cinnamon now don't use sugar cinnamon sugar cinnamon sugar whatever it's called just use some ground cinnamon and sprinkle that into the blender as well and in this container i have my shredded unsweetened coconut the great value brand that's what i use i just put it into these little containers because it's easier for me with storage and all that so and access so you're going to use just a tablespoon of the unsweetened shredded coconut and you're going to blend all those up together and while that's blending i just want to take a second to thank all of you for liking commenting subscribing turning on notifications thank you for sharing it with your herbalife family thank you for sharing on social media i really appreciate all of you for the continued support and all the love that you guys send me in the dms and in the comments i really appreciate you guys and now as you can see with the cup that i measured my ice and water is still a little wet so i'm just going to sprinkle some ground cinnamon on the cup and the water that's on the cup is actually going to catch it and that's what makes the decoration on the cup a lot of people wonder you know how do you get that look and that's all it is you just sprinkle the cinnamon on it and the water in there is going to catch it so now i'm going to go ahead and pour my shake i like my shakes thick 
If you don't like them this thick, add more water. But this is exactly how I like my shakes. I like it like thick like ice cream. Like I could eat it with a spoon. So this is me pouring that fabulous ice cream coquito shake. <laughs> If you guys make this shake, please tag me on Instagram at I am dot Melissa Gibbs. Also go to www.melissagibbs.com and check out my new apparel line. We are adding things all the time. It's great. I'm so excited and we have so much more to share with you guys. So take a look at that. And now I have my sugar free whip and I'm just putting that on the top and sprinkling some cinnamon right on top of that. And this, guys, is the Coquito Shake. I'm going to add a little bit of coconut right on top, sprinkle it. Oh my gosh, I could taste it by just watching this video. So this is my favorite holiday shake, Coquito. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoy it. Share it with your Herbalife family. Share it with everyone you know. And if you really want to burn some fat or I'm sorry if you want to reduce some fat sprinkle a little bit of prolesa on top of this and eat it with a spoon and it is so amazing thank you guys for watching thank you for coming back and keep a lookout because I have more videos coming for you guys